फ्रेंड्स हेयर आर द ब्यूटिफुल रियल्स ऑफ रूटिंग इन हिबिस्कस यू सी लॉन्ग रूट ऑलमोस्ट नाइन टू टेन इंच लॉन्ग रूट हेयर यू कैन सी इन एवरी कटिंग एंड दे आर फुल रेडी एंड दे आर बी ग्रोन सो जस्ट सी सो फर्स्ट थिंग यू हैव टू डू जस्ट टेक कटिंग्स ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ हिबिस्कस यू वॉन्ट दिस इज वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट कलर इन माई हिबिस्कस इन माई गार्डन सो आई एल बी टेकिंग सम ऑफ द ट्विक्स हेयर so i'll be taking twigs and i need some around 8 to 10 cuttings from here so i'll be uh, cut it into pieces of around uh, 6 to 7 inch length here you can see and uh, remove the thinner one and i'll take uh, beautiful cuttings from here 8 to 10 inch cuttings here and after taking cuttings you would uh, remove the small and uh, thinner twigs from here so you need to take cuttings around a pencil thickness around uh, 6 to 7 mm or more than uh, uh, 8 or 10 uh, mm thickness will be nice for taking cuttings here are some of the cuttings i am taking i am removing the thinner ones and taking cuttings and making pieces and you have to maintain the polarity of this uh, cutting i will show you in the later part of the video so how to main the um, uh, make the polarity maintain the polarity for growing it and i am going to grow it in water only only in plain water and i am not going to use any rooting powder or anything you can do it practice in your home easily and just collecting some selecting some of the twigs of around a pencil thickness of and removing the side branches from here and uh, only you need to need some of the water and some uh, thermocol seeds and i have some spare thermocol seeds that i am going to use it in and just uh, preparing this is these are the cuttings around 10 to 12 cuttings are here and i am going to show you how to grow them in cutting and you don't need anything so here are some spare waste uh, thermocol paper so polystyrene thermocol sheet if you have and they are the waste thermocol sheets i am using and removing the extra places from here extra part and this is the floating i am making here and uh, cutting at the corners so that it is a round shape so this is the shape i am making and you have to pierce some holes here as many cuttings you will grow you will pierce holes from here and this is the holes i am making and just uh, pierce these twigs and the polarity is the branches and the leaves will be at the upper end this is the upper part this is the you have to maintain it upper side should be at the upper end and the lower side should be lower end and uh, there should be at a 45 degree angle cutting that uh, this is the upper part so angle should be at the upper end and this is the upper end you have to maintain polarity else what will happen the roots will not grow so just pierce it and uh, this is and around 1 inch will be at the lower end and that will float in water and that will submerge in water for around 1 inch or if you want 1 to 2 inch that will submerge in water and uh, uh, above the water there should be at least 5 to 6 inches and here the 45 degree angle is the best for growing this cutting because they they will get the more and more spaces for rooting so i have pierced here and see the actual technique of piercing of all these cuttings here so thinner cuttings and uh, all the thick cuttings and the thick cuttings will take root uh, very very fast and thinner cuttings may take more time so try to uh, take cuttings of around more than a pencil thickness cuttings of any kind and you can do the process in any season and uh, around the year you can do and in the summer months and in the uh, rainy season this is the best time but if you want you can grow it and just float it in water and uh, it will take around one month for uh, growing cuttings and after one month and uh, all the leaves will be uh, uh, shed here and new leaves will come out here and after my one month i am showing the reels so just uh, one month back i have grown some cutting just see the reels welcome back friends this is the cutting i have grown and uh, this is the floats i have grown and i am showing you the results of these cuttings and here you can see beautiful roots around 8 to 10 inch long roots and branches are here they are ready to be transplanted in soil dried soil and uh, it is uh, around 80% success 20% uh, cuttings did not grow but here you can see the buds are also developed and they are ready to be grown and water you have to change in 10 to 15 days water change and here you can see the rooting pattern and uh, you don't have to and i'll 
uh, floating it today and after one month they are be ready to be transplanted their roots will be grown properly so this is the very very easiest method now i am going to transplant it in a uh, soil i am taking five inch pot and uh, breaking the thermocol sheet and after just see how i am breaking the thermocol sheet after breaking the thermocol sheet collect the cuttings from here and uh, after collecting the cutting i am taking uh, soil 80 percent garden soil 20 percent compost mixed and here is the five inch pot and there should be hole at the bottom and you can see i am transplanting the plant here and within uh, five to seven days the plants will take root properly they will take shape and you have to keep it in semi shade area for uh, a couple of days and after uh, a couple of days you have to take it in full sunlight so the plant will be ready for transplanting if you want you can grow after uh, one month or two month you can transplant in a 10 inch pot or you want to grow in garden area also you can uh, transplant in, in garden area also so this is the easiest uh, method of growing cuttings of uh, this hibiscus and similar kind of plants you can grow cuttings through in only in water you don't have to apply any any hormone powder or anything else and then just watering it hope you enjoyed the video if you at all like the video please give it a like give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please 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 subscribe my channel so thank you very much thank you for being with us so nice of you thank you